There have been some changes to the Oathbreaker ban list, and I'm going to tell you all about them. Welcome to the Signature Spellbomb, where we'll keep you up to date on current Magic the Gathering and WotC news that affects the community with the Oathbreaking news. If you want to keep up to date on Oathbreaker news, then you can support us by like, sharing, and subscribing, and turning on notifications so you know when we have new content for you. Today I'm going to be going over the October 2nd, 2020 banned and restricted changes announced in an article on the OathbreakerMTG.org website. If you want to read the full article, then there will be a link in the description. First off, I would like to take a second to remind our avid players and planeswalkers in the audience that Oathbreaker is a community format, and first and foremost is structured around fun, and that the ban list is just a set of guidelines to help playgroups avoid cards that lead to friction and unfun play environments. However, if your playgroup is okay with something, even banned cards or silver-bordered planeswalkers, then do whatever is the most fun with your playgroup. Nobody really wants to dictate how you have fun with this game. Now, I would like to take a second to summarize the changes that are in the article. Sway of the Stars has been unbanned in Oathbreaker. Gifts Ungiven was retested in the format and will remain banned at this time. And the following cards I'm about to mention were playtested and will remain legal for now. Intuition, Paradox Engine, Tefri Master of Time, and See the Truth. Now, let's dig into the decision made on each of these cards. Sway of the Stars got retested. With the move to more online testing, the Oathbreaker Rules Committee was able to test more variations of the deck and decided that they could release it into the format without doing much damage. So it's great to get a card back, and I really do appreciate that. Gifts Ungiven will be remaining banned for now. The decision by the Rules Committee was not unanimous, However, they did agree that they weren't likely to change their opinions, so we probably shouldn't expect it to be coming off of the ban list anytime soon. Intuition was tested at the same time, and while the cards are often thought to be similar, they do do different things, and they do see how some people link these cards together, but their thoughts were the same as Unbanning Gifts Ungiven. They were split, and the committee wasn't likely to change their minds, so until they play tested further, it's going to remain legal in the format. Paradox Engine is a great card. I love it. It is definitely a combo strategy piece. It was primarily tested in decks that use Sahili Sub. Lime Artificer, and Thoughtcast as the signature spell. And although the deck is capable of winning on turn 3 uh, occasionally, it was consistently a turn 4 deck. The rules committee decided that that's okay for tier 1 competitive decks, and they don't need to do anything to ban it at this time, but to keep in mind the power level of this when you're playing with your friends. The Fairy Master of Time and See the Truth were kind of tested together from M21. The concern was with being Teferi to activate him every turn to add loyalty, even on your opponent's turns, that could be problematic, and that See the Truth as a draw three card from the command zone for two mana might be problematic. After playtesting both cards thoroughly, they felt that the cards were fair, and even their casual decks were able to handle Teferi Master of Time, so neither of the cards are even on the radar for future banning or testing. Now, in this same article, they announced that there are cards that are currently being tested for the next ban and restricted article that is set to be released on December 26th of this year. World Fire is being reevaluate whether or not that card still needs to be on the banned list. Next up, they did have an announcement about Zendikar Rising cards. They are currently testing all of the new cards in the format, but they're not particularly worried about anything at this time, but they will make a future announcement announcement on that on December 26th. And finally, a quick rules reminder, Signature Spell lands. You can have the Signature Spell played from your command zone, just like any other Signature Spell. You cannot play lands from your command zone, and any time your Signature Spell would be returned to your hand, go to your graveyard, your deck, or anywhere else, it always goes back to the command zone instead. So you actually can't ever use the land side on those cards, so you may want to think about that before choosing them is your Signature Spell. 
Now, you can support Oathbreaker content like this by shopping using the tcgplayer.com inked gaming link or even our merch link in the description below, and it really helps the channel. A quick reminder, be like a planeswalker and show your loyalty by subscribing to this channel. If you want more Oathbreaker content, then check out our budget deck tech playlist here. And remember, I can't do this without you guys, and I wouldn't.